Hey everybody, hope you all had a very memorable Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day honors the brave folks who made the ultimate sacrifice while serving our country. As a veteran, I'm truly grateful for their service and sacrifice. Now, the beginning of the new fiscal year is just about a month away. And last week, we presented our preliminary budget to the City Council for their review. Now, Carlsbad has always been known for its fiscal health, and that's not by accident. We look far onto the horizon to see what is coming so we have plenty of time to make adjustments as needed. And that's what we're doing right now because we're seeing a structural deficit in as soon as three years, meaning what we plan to spend will be more than what we anticipate bringing in. And I challenged all departments to find efficiencies and cut back on spending in next year's budget. Now here, you can see just some of the ways you found to save. Now, I know that these might not seem like big ticket items, but nickels make dollars. And when you put it all together, staff identified about 3.3 million in savings. We would not be in such a strong position without the hard work of our finance department staff who have been crunching these numbers for months and then delivered a thorough presentation to city council. Now, I just want to say thank you to our entire staff for your dedication and collaboration in providing high quality services to the community as efficiently and as cost effectively as possible. Now, speaking of efficiency, here's another example of annual savings and better processes. So IT started to consolidate and migrate our city issued mobile devices to a new Microsoft platform. This technology will allow us to manage and secure smartphones, tablets, and laptops, all in a one-stop shop for ultimate efficiency and savings. Now, if you have a city-issued iPhone or iPad, please be on the lookout for details for switching over, and please reply promptly to IT to schedule your transfer. With the school year winding down, I want to give a shout out to our Parks and Rec and Library and Cultural Art Departments for another successful year of the California History and Art Program at Leo Carrillo Ranch. This year, more than a thousand students from 41 classes and 15 elementary schools came for a guided tour, a hands-on tortilla making activity, and an interactive art lesson. Big thanks go to Holly O'Neill of Parks and Rec and Lisa Nogler from Library and Cultural Arts for working together to provide such a meaningful experience. Now, in these days of constant email communication, it's always nice to get a handwritten thank you note. This one came from a local HOA giving kudos to Public Works for the recent resurfacing of Batakitos Drive. They said the crew did an excellent job and it's truly appreciated. Now, I do want to also mention that you may have heard last week that La Costa Canyon High School was briefly placed on lockdown due to the report of a threat. Thankfully, it was a false alarm, but I do want to say thank you for the quick communication our staff provided to our parents and community and share this email from a student at school thanking our first responders for their bravery. She said, and I quote, to know that you were out there helped me my class and teacher a lot because we were really scared. You're all such heroes and thanks so much for everything. Honestly, I can't underscore this enough. You are heroes and we appreciate everything you do to keep us safe. Well, that's it for me this week. Please be kind to one another, stay safe, share our roads. And I just can't thank you enough for all that you do to keep our city running. Have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care, all.